Well, hello everybody. Um, to continue on with the coop, I haven't messed with the doors at all. All I did with the doors is strip the paint off of them. And you can see on the bottom here how bad that door patch is. Um, really, really bad. Just so much heat and stuff doing the brass brazing. So, I wanted to uh, cut the bottom of that door off and replace it with a patch panel. <clears throat> uh, in order to make my door fit nice, when I got the coop <clears throat> two years ago, started working, that same type of panel or patch was, was done down here. And I cleaned it up as best as I could. I wasn't very good at doing patches or bodywork or anything, but I've learned a lot in the last two years. So um, in order for that door to fit nice right here, this patch they have on there is just really bad. So I'm going to end up backing up a little bit here and cutting this uh, area out and making, making a patch there. And in order to do that, make the patch, you know, I had to have a 90 degree here and a bend on the bottom. And when I moved from Florida, I sold my little brake. So I spent yesterday making myself a little bench top brake here. So I got that done. Now I'm able to bend a little 90 degree. And that will, I made it, I made the brake wide enough to do this door panel patch also so that I can bend 90 degrees on the sides and everything. So, the first order of business is to go ahead and make the patch panel for that little front of the quarter there. And then once that's done, I'll have a good outline. I can make a pattern and then uh, continue on with this door patch and then get the doors all set up. So here we go. So the area on the front of the lower quarter here is pretty bad. This is the inside of that patch area that they did. And it's just really kind of a hack job. Definitely a hack job. So I'm going to cut this all out and, uh, you know, replace it with a new patch. But that's why I'm concerned about it. Okay, so the area has this curve here, so I'm going to have to shrink that lip that I bent. I made myself a pattern of the, uh, the shape that I'm looking for. And I bent a little bit of it, but I need to continue bending. Just keep going back and forth until... So you get the shape you're looking for. All right, well I got my shape. I think that fits in there pretty good to go ahead and start cutting the bad area out. Trim this a little narrower. Alright, now that's the size of my patch, but I'm going to trim it a little bit inside of that. Cut this all this bad area out. Alright, well I got the mess all cut out of there. And... 
once I get got inside, um, there's wood structure here and then there's like metal over the wood structure. So this was all rotted out and came with a patch. So I cut it off evenly and I'm going to go ahead and make a patch to go here. Alright, well I had to make this section out of two pieces and what I'm going to do is just weld them together on the inside. This one's got a little flange that ties the subrail into the uh, B pillar. So I put that on there. Then I'll drill and normally they're riveted but I'll put a bolt in there. And then this piece will fill in that area and be welded on the bottom. And that'll also tie into the subrail. So now to weld them together. All right, got the inside of the B pillar support welded in. Put the little tab on there like the factory one. And now I got to work on the outside patch. Well, got it protected with some rusty metal primer. And now time to install the patch. Got the patch filed and fitted really well. And that'll help with uh, any shrinkage and distortion. I drilled some holes here so I can spot weld it in there. Okay, so there's one round of tacking and sanding down and hammer and dolly work. Coming out pretty nice. she is welded in. Now I need to try to file some of those welds down a little smoother, maybe a little more hammer and dolly work. Okay, well there it is. Pretty much done. Looks a lot better in this area instead of having that old scraggly weld crap. We've got the uh, inside of the B pillar with a tab. And then the outside that matches the original quarter. Came out pretty good. There's a couple little low spots and all that, but I'll tell you this body work is not easy to get it right. I'm getting a little bit better, but man, it's tough to get it right. But anyway, thanks for watching.